I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate. My upper lip and my palate were not formed when I was born. Kids would call me names and they would just sometimes like come over to me and just tell me you're so ugly. Yat e she Naomi glasses. I am Native American. My Navajo clan is Yucca Fruit Strung Out on a Line clan. I grew up in Mesa, Arizona, which wasn't predominantly Native American, and at times I felt different as being not just the only Native kid, but also having a bilateral cleft lip. As I got older, it became more apparent that I was being bullied. Kids would call me names like Rhinoceros Nose, and Oh my, I didn't realize that I was gonna... When I didn't feel like I belonged, my family was always there to tell me that I was loved, that I was beautiful. Skateboarding helped me definitely escape from what others said. I could just ride for hours. With skateboarding, there are no bounds to what you can or can't do. I had to go through numerous surgeries to fix my lip, but now if you look at me today, you can't tell. <laughs> the first time I went into Sephora, it definitely helped me feel confident because my scars are on my face. Makeup could put the focus on my eyes. It's about having fun, seeing how big I can make my eyeliner wing and it makes me feel all the more powerful. Regardless of what anyone says, I know that I'm beautiful. As a modern day Navajo person, we always refer to coming back to the reservation as coming home. We decided to move back and I remember being so thrilled to just live freely. Where I live on the reservation, there is no running water, no internet connection, and some people don't have electricity. My typical day starts with feeding the animals. My grandma has always told me that if I take care of them, they'll take care of me. The sheep, they provide me my wool for my weaving. From that, I make rugs and I also make purses I really have a deep admiration for rug weaving because it's something that's been in my family for seven generations. My favorite Navajo saying is Aho Ego Dea. It means life is what you make it. Regardless of any struggles that we face as Navajo people, we are all empowered, we are creative, and we are strong.